What's going on guys, Manny here, bringing you guys another video for you guys, doing some more Great League matches here. Obviously as this video goes live, we are in the Ultra League, but in this video, as you can see, I'm going to be using Porygon Z. So, uh, Porygon Z, obviously not the tankiest Pokemon whatsoever, but tri attack surprisingly hits pretty hard, as you can see there, did a ton of damage to that Galvantula. So I immediately switched out into Azumarill, knowing that they were going to go for a lunge, and obviously not going to be doing nearly as much to uh, Zumero, and I'm going to be able to farm down this Galvantula. So obviously with uh, Porygon Z, I'm pairing it with uh, Skarmory and Azumarill here, as my opponent brings in their own Skarmory. But yeah, so um, ever since you know Porygon got, got its community day a few weeks ago, um, or actually it was last week, yeah, it was last week. Um, I, I wanted to at least try Porygon Z in PvP, so this is uh, just some battles that I did. This was actually the first set I did with Porygon Z, so. Um, spoilers, I end up going 3-2. Um, but yeah, so Porygon Z actually can hit pretty hard, especially if it lands at Zap Cannon that I'm using as well. Um, but Tri-Attack uh, basically has a 50-50 chance of lowering both uh, the attack and defense of my opposing Pokemon. Uh, my opposing, my opponent's, jeez, I can't talk, my opponent's Pokemon. So, um, but yeah, so, and it can actually get to it pretty quickly because it does have Walk on as well. Um, as you can see, Tri-Attack does a decent chunk of damage for something that a lot of people, including myself, didn't really think was going to be very good. But uh, as you can see, pretty much did almost have health on that Wish Cache and uh, immediately switched out to Skarmory to catch the Mud Bomb and basically just going to farm down on this uh, Wish Cache now. So I do go for the Blizzard, which uh, obviously does hurt, but no need to shield. And uh, I do decide to shield here because I did think it was going to be another Blizzard because they did not charge up enough to it. Um, but it is a mud bomb, so they did uh, bait me there. But you know, it's all good because uh, their last Pokemon is their own Skarmory, and I do have two Sky Attacks ready to go. So I'm going to launch the first one. They don't shield. I'm gonna go home and launch the second one here, which I believe does get the shield as well. Yeah, so it does get the shield, and now it's just a race to see if you can get to another Sky Attack, which I'm pretty sure I thought they had, but obviously uh, I was able to get to mine first. So either they had it. And I just want CMP, or they were, maybe they were one uh, air slash off. So, anyway, GG is my first opponent. Going on to the second game here, we have the Deoxys lead, which is not good whatsoever because Deoxys beats my entire team. I mean, Thunderbolt uh, beats both Skarmory and Azumarill. Obviously, this counters add up over time on Porygon Z here, and uh, they go for the Rock Slide, and I'm just building up as much energy as I possibly can to switch into a zoom roll here. So I've already used the shield and again, Deoxys is a very dangerous Pokemon against this team here. So I would go for the Thunderbolt, obviously. I don't want to waste both my shields immediately. Then we get a Bomb of Snow, which obviously is not good either because of uh, its energy ball move that it can low. So basically I just go for the Hydro Pump, just do as much damage as I possibly can. And I decide uh, not to shield here, expecting an energy ball, um, which it is. So. Yeah, so here I gotta bring in Skarmory. Again, not in a good position here. I can farm down a Bomb Stone pretty easily, but uh, these Weather Balls do do a decent amount of damage as well. And I still gotta worry about the Deoxys, and they still have two shields, so it's not really the best. Uh, run into a little bit of lag there, unfortunately. I bring back Deoxys, um, hit some more lag. So again, this was in the uh, prime of Go Battle League when it was just insanely laggy. It's still pretty laggy now, um, but yeah, as you saw there, I got completely farmed out apparently, so it's pretty unfortunate, and uh, even though I have the Zap Cannon, they still have two shields, they let it go and they can just farm me down, so yeah, pretty pretty bad matchup for me there. Um, for this next one, we have the Galvantula Elite once again, and now uh, we know, we've seen exactly how much damage uh, Tri-Attack does, so, and I'm able to get to it uh, first, which is actually surprising, so go for the Tri-Attack, they do shield. And I decided, you know what, let's just stay in it. I'm um, going to go ahead and shield this uh, lunge or discharge, because obviously that would KO. They go for the discharge, which in my opinion, they should have gone for lunge just to get the uh, attack debuff. Um, so I do go ahead and go for another try attack. I do shield it, and I'm just going to do as much damage as I can. And I'm actually able to get off to one more try attack, which is hilarious. So again, uh, Oregon Z, pretty spammy um, overall. And I'm able to take out the Galvantula, and I still have a shield, so... They bring in Galarian Sunfist. I'm going to go ahead and bring in a zoom roll. Good position here. They got no shields, so I could literally hydro pump. I'm going to go ahead and let this go through. If it's an earthquake, does a good amount of damage. Rock slide, you know, it is what it is. It is the earthquake. I was expecting them to switch, so I go ahead and try to switch. 
um, into Scarm Ring, but it didn't work the first time, so I had to do it again. Um, again, Go Battle League with the lag and the switching, it's not the best currently. It's a little bit better, but, you know, the switching, I believe, is still a thing. Um, so, but yeah, so, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let this Ice Beam go through. Does a decent chunk. And we're gonna go try to get to another Sky Attack, but they get to another Ice Beam, so I gotta shield this here. Because, um, obviously, they will put me in Farm Ground Rage if I would've let it go. I just go for the Sky Attack here. Which uh, is going to be enough, I believe it's enough, almost enough, to knock out the Zoomroll, but they end up switching into Sunfisk, uh, and I just switch into Zoomroll and go straight Hydro Pump, so, which is going to obviously be super effective against Sunfisk, which will take it out, and I'm able to farm down uh, the Zoomroll, but they decide to just uh, quit instead, so. Going on to the next matchup here, we have the Drift Limb lead, which this is going to be awesome to see, just watch this, this is hilarious. Um, but yeah, so, just building up as much energy as I can, and I actually, uh, decide to allow this to go through. This is gonna be an icy wind, uh, which most Drift Limbs go for immediately, and I'm just gonna go straight Zap Cannon, and, uh, yeah, this move is ridiculous. As you can see, it just one-shots the Drift Limb, so, always fun to see. So now they're just debating what they want to bring out, they bring out Shift Tree, and this is where, again, I'm gonna go ahead and shield this here. Because obviously this would KO, and I'm just going to go straight try attacks So, shield that, go for the try attack Again, this will do a good chunk of damage um, if it goes unshielded. And as you can see there, uh, even though uh, it does a good chunk, I do get both the attack and defense uh, debuff. And then they switch into uh, Sunfist as an answer to my Scar right here. So, um, but yeah, so not, a, not the best situation I'm in here. So here I decided to go for Flash Cannon. I probably was better for me to go double um, Sky Attack, um, but I just went for the Flash Cannon regardless and just do whatever damage I can here. So obviously I know this is going to be another Discharge. I decided just to let it go. Really not worth the shield. And now I'm just uh, going to bring in a Zoom Roll here. This is going to be another Discharge. I let this go as well because I don't want to waste both my shields immediately. I don't. And uh, yeah, so they still have another shield, which again, uh, they still got both their shields, I should say, which is not ideal here. Um, so I again, decide not to shield the discharge. Pretty much I'm going for the farm down here if possible. And I decide to pull the trigger and go for a play rough here. So this will either get the shield or I'll take out the Sunfisk. And they don't shield it, um, which is probably not the best uh, decision on their part. Because now I can shield this Leaf Blade. And go for the tri attack here, which will get their other shield. And surprisingly, I'm actually going to be able to farm down with a Porygon Z. So, pretty uh, pretty hilarious. So, going on to the next battle here, uh, not the best one, because uh, they got a Bastion on in the lead. And uh, I make a mistake here by staying in. But I know the reason why I stayed in here is I just wanted to do whatever damage I could. And I was kind of relying on here on the uh, debuff to, tr to kick in, but it didn't. And I know for a fact if I would have switched into a zoom roll, immediately they would have switched out. Um, but yeah, so, and the other problem is I gave them a ton of energy as well. So they're going to go ahead and stone energy me here. Uh, stay in, build up some more energy, and then switch into Skarmory, which is again, not the best idea for me. Go into the Hydro Pump just to do whatever damage I can if it goes unshielded, which they do let it go, which is awesome. Um, but again, that Bastion in the back is going to be a problem for me because I'm locked in right now. Um, I can't switch out, and they're going to be able to take out my Azumarill beforehand. So, go for the play rough to try to take out the Skarmory, or uh, obviously they're going to shield it. They do shield it, and at this point, even though my switch timer's up, um, I'm in a bad position, because again, that Bastion is just going to mow down my team. So, yeah, so, not the best idea here. So, going get the Sky Attack, take out their, their Skarmory, in comes the Bastion. Uh, I still have two shields, so the the only option I really have is to try to go for um, the stone, uh, for the flash cannon. And I make a mistake; I don't shield that. Um, that was probably the biggest mistake I did right there for this match. It's not shielding that stone edge. So. Go for the flash cannon because um, if I would have gone for the flash cannon, I probably could have actually won this matchup. But yeah, not shielding was uh, a really big mistake. So. Gonna go and launch the tri-attack, which they're going to shield. 
and then they're just going to be able to uh, pretty much farm me down after launching this attack. So I have the shield, I have the shields, but um, yeah, just a quick misplay on my part. Uh, go for the return, and they still have another Pokemon in the back on top of that, so it doesn't really matter. As you can see here, it is going to be the Swampert, so yeah, so... That's gonna be it for the video guys, just a quick video I want to show you guys, uh, Porygon Z in action. Uh, again, it can hit hard if it, uh, the attacks do land. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new to the channel as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one, take it easy. Through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun. Around.